Okay, so this video is going to be about my work and socialising and stuff like that. Um, first of all, if family see it, I don't really take this personally because I love you. You're my mum, my dad, my sister, my grandparents, my uncles, cousins, aunts, perhaps, and just because I feel the way I do it, it doesn't stop being in the air. You are my family. And I care about you, my And I always care about you. So, um, <clears throat> so I have autism. It's called my particular diagnosis is Asperger. And um, it's a hidden disability, so you physically can't see it. I can walk, I can talk, I can be myself. But yeah, it affects social interactions. So um, things like talking to people, understanding jokes, facial expressions, <laughs> um, they can be hard. Harder than a normal person. Harder for them. Harder for me than anyone. So like at work, um, I work at the co-op and go for them. It's not that far away from Reading, and um, there's a lovely place, and there's some lovely people. And uh, I drove in February, and the amount of confidence it's given me is unbelievable. Um, it, uh, when I first applied, it was my mum's idea, I'm not going to worry about that. And um, I was nervous, because my social social issues. I physically didn't think I'd be able to go in, talk to staff, talk to customers. Before I'd always been in the stock room or done a little bit of shop floor and really struggled with it. I was in a photography studio which I loved, but I really struggled talking to the people, the clients. And um, so I applied for the job and so I got it and I got it in February and since then, wow. My confidence has grown so much, um, and it might sound stupid, but I love the job. I know jobs aren't always something you love. Um, I know that half the people that work there don't like them, don't really like the job. It's a job to make money, and that's it. But um, the people there are so nice, so kind, so caring, and um, I don't always talk to them, but. I want to. I mean, I sometimes lie awake to 2am, 1am. Sometimes I don't even sleep because I'm trying to think, oh, I want to talk to blah blah. Yeah, one of the guys, one of the girls to my girl. How can I say hi? What can I say to make them want to talk to me? Because I see them all walking around chatting, laughing, giggling, and I wonder, have I done something wrong? Is something wrong with me that they don't want to do that with me? Or are they just trying to be nice? Or are trying not to hurt me? I'm physically scared to talk to each and every one of them just in case I say something and then bam, next day I come in and I say I've lost my job or no one talks to me. That's why I do things like I've done a few drawings with people at work. Um, a few of the guys, a couple of the guys and a couple of the girls. I've done it to say thank you. So generally I'm not good at speaking and I'm not good at saying things and I've done it for the people who have actually made an effort to be there for me. It's just that one time or a couple of times or each time I'm upset they just come over and give me a hug or something or being there. And I do it because of that and I'm so thankful for them. And also, um, they're more of a family to me now. Um, I like second family, I should say. Uh, I spend a lot of time there, and I do really care for each and every person there, and I don't talk to many of them that much, and that annoys me, because I want to have a conversation with you, and just do and work, just have a laugh, not just be standing there, just, can I talk to you? Do they want to talk to me? I don't really know them. Because work is now a huge part of my life, and actually, 
it makes me happy when I'm around them and I actually physically get to talk to them. I mean, one of the guys, whenever I see him, or see him anyway, he gives me a hug when I first come in, and that just puts me in a good mood because it just says, okay, someone doesn't mind talking to me. Someone actually cares, or someone there who doesn't really mind me. Who doesn't mind talking to me, who doesn't mind helping out if I have an issue. So that person definitely thanks you. And just people who come over and ask if I'm okay and I'm upset. And I hate being upset now. Thank you. But <clears throat> I basically wanted to just do this to get it off my chest because I love my work. I bloody love it. And I know it seems weird to see a shop as a family. But all the management, all the staff members just when I do talk to them, or even if it's just a high and a bar each day. It means the world to me. And I'm trying not to cry, and that's stupid, because why does a fucking job matter so much? But, if you met me before, before I started the job, a couple of people do know me before the job. Um, one or two, well, one of them was in the same sixth form year as me, and he knows how different I was. They know how different I was. Most people I probably, I think they probably know. I have changed since I've joined Co-op and we have to thank each and every one. I do do things that feel weird. I know that like I can stare at member staff. Anyone is just who's around. That might be because I want to ask a question, to interact, but I physically struggle to make a sentence. I stand there and just like, I look at them just like, okay, there's no one around, can I say something? Do they want to talk to me? I don't know. But I look at them like, I know they're going to be noticing me looking, but what else can I do? I'm too physically scared to ask, hi, how are you? And when I do, it takes 100% of my courage, 100% of my strength, not to suddenly yell at myself after saying, why the fuck did you do that? You could ruin everything, you could lose your job. That's how my mind works, and I really fucking love this job. And I love everyone there, and as I said, the life is family. Even the management and everything, and I know I can be emotional. Sometimes I don't know I can be an idiot and I try my hardest to do whatever I can to show staff members how much they mean. Which is why I'm trying to get them to be in part of my identity project for uni. Because I found so much of myself at work. And it means the world to me. It really does. And I don't know what I would actually do about it right now. It sounds stupid, but. It came exactly when I needed it to. It really did, and there's some people there. Just, they were so nice, and people who I'd love to just talk to more. And yep, I know. It's weird, and if anyone from work sees that, I'll probably get lost now. But I just wanted to share it with people just. So people know it's okay to be reliant on things like a job or family or friends. Seeing a group of people as a family, that's normal. Well, maybe you're not for normal people, but people with disabilities and asperities. Sometimes one place can be a lifesaver. And for me, at my job. And there's one there. I thank you so much for being part of my life. And if it only is during shifts. And if any of you ever want to do a photo shoot, you want to help me with my project by just getting a fucking selfie with me. Uh, yeah. Just tell me. And never be afraid to talk to me. So I always want to talk to you. I'm just too bloody shy. Thank you. Bye.